Today's exercise is a variation that creates five sets of loops with one line. We start off by creating a loop, come down create diagonally, create a loop and then go round the form and then we come in and we create a loop and then diagonally across and create a loop and then we come out diagonally in the form and then create a loop and then we create another loop and then diagonally down and then we create another loop and then up diagonally and create a loop and then we come round the form and up to create a loop and down to create a loop and then we come round and up into the form create a loop and diagonally down to create a loop and then up and round the form to create a rounding and then in and creating a loop and up to create a loop and then out of the form diagonally and then creating a loop and diagonally across and creating a loop then diagonally down to create a loop and then across and up to create a loop and then rounding and then coming up to create a loop and then across and diagonally and then creating a final loop and then rounding into where the line started we started our line here so this is where we start the line so as you can see um, this is the form that you are going to create. Now, what's important, of course, is that the loops are neat, that the loops sit above each other, and also that the two loops on the sides uh, sit above the loops at the bottom. So these two sets of loops should sit above these sets of loops. And these two sets of loops should sit above these two sets of loops, almost as if you had sort of a vertical line running down here and a vertical line running down. So you can see my lo this loop here is kind of squint. So that I could definitely go through that uh, whole form again um, and adjust it. But I will show you uh, instead two ways in which you can help yourself with lines uh, for how to draw this form. The two ways that you can do helplines to guide you through this form is by doing three lines above each other, similar or same length and same distance apart uh, between the three lines. That's for doing one form. You can also do five uh, sets of lines we'll start with the top three lines. So here, what we do is we put, we place um, our first set of loop uh, in the top, and then our second set of loop in the bottom, and then our third set of loop um, loops in the middle, across the middle line, and the same with uh, the other two loops on this side. So, you know, um, set of loops at the top and set of loops at the bottom. So if we're going to draw it here it looks like this so we would draw a loop so I'm, I'm going to draw this small so there's room for the for the form so here we're going around the form and drawing the loops and coming round, going up, and then drawing our loop, coming round with our line, got a little bit squished, and then a loop, and then down and create our loop, and above the line, create a loop, and then diagonally down, create a loop, and up to create a loop, and then go round the form, and then up, and then down to create a final loop, and then we meet up. So 
that's one way of doing it where you can see I can definitely work with, you know, placing my loops. So these loops sit quite neatly above each other and the two set of loops at the top should sit kind of neatly above the two lo loops at the bottom. Um, and as you can see, these loops are kind of all over the place. So I could really do with going over my form here, adjusting the loops where they sh should sit and they should really sit neatly above these loops. Um, uh, these loops sit roughly okay, but I could work on, you know, the shape of them and cor correcting the shape. But that's uh, one way of working with the lines. The other way would be to create your loops using these um, straight vertical lines down here. What you want to do when you're using these lines is you don't want to cross over at the middle of the line. You want to cross over towards the top and towards the bottom. So it would look like this. So we're creating a first loop here and then we're crossing over, creating our second loop here towards the bottom of the line. Then we're rounding and then we're coming in to create our third loop, crossing over to create our fourth loop, out the form, down, creating a loop, and then up to create a loop, and then across to create a loop, and then up diagonally to create a loop, and then round the form, and then creating a loop, and then down to create a loop, and then out, and up creating a loop, cross over, create a loop, and then go round the form, and then create a loop at the bottom, cross over and create a loop, and then cross out of the form, create a loop, cross over and create a loop, and then diagonally down to create a loop, and then over to create a loop, rounding the form, coming back into the form, creating a loop, and out and to the side and create a loop, last loop, and then we're meeting up with the line again. So this is another way of creating this form. And again, as you can see here, my line here got a little bit um, flat. So, you know, I would just go over my lines uh, in order to make sure that my form looks nice. One extra little tip I'm going to give you here is when you're, let me see if I can find a loop that's a bit skewed yet. Yeah, so this one, you can see the cross point where I've started the loop here and then I'm crossing it here. It's not crossing on the line. Um, so that makes it look a bit kind of messy. Try and see if you can make the cross. So when you start your loop, try and see if you can make it cross where the line is, the loop, finish the loop crossing it. That way it makes it look kind of neat. So really, in order for this loop to be neat, I need to move my line up a little bit. And that also actually means that then this loop changes obviously because my line came out here and now it comes up above that. So then I need to adjust that and then that makes that loop like, look like that. Then I go round and I create my loop here and come down and create a loop here. And then this is where I want to adjust my line. So here I want to loop and again, this is another example here. The cross of the loop is outside of the line. I haven't been very neat. So, you know, go over your lines and then cross over on the line, cross your loop on the line. Then that makes it kind of look neat. Then you come around your form and then down here. My loop has crossed on the line, so that's okay. I cross over and then I go up and around and I cross on the line, come down, create my loop, make sure I cross on the line. And that also brings my line up a little bit further than what it was previously. It's sort of sitting below here, the previous line. So 
whenever you start adjusting these shapes, you can see how it affects the rest of what you're doing. And you can see I'm doing it really slowly here. But ideally, obviously, you want to do it in a flowing motion. I'm, I've sort of done it in a kind of pained and very really slow motion. And that's definitely not the idea. The idea still is, you know, we want to do it in a nice fluid motion. Um, and then we want to work with having a harmonious looking form. And I'm trying to draw it up really um, hard with this graphite because it's quite light so you can see the form properly in the video. But yeah, you want to do it in a nice fluid flowing motion. Actually, this got looks a bit pregnant now. Um, but uh, yeah, it should be a sort of nice form. And remember, if you want to adjust a line, you go through your form. Yeah, so don't start kind of adjusting just a part of the form uh, in some place. Go through your form and adjust your line um, as you're going through the form in a fluid motion with rhythm. Okay, so that's all for this week. I'll be back next week with a new variation for you.